Hello all, my name is Krishnayak and welcome to my YouTube channel. So guys, uh, recently one of my subscriber, you know, who is doing his engineering and he's still in his second year, he asked me a very pretty interesting question saying that, Krish, if you go back to your college now, you know, probably you're starting from first year or second year, which all job profiles would you focus on or which all technologies you would actually focus on currently based on the trends, okay? And this is a very interesting question, guys, because I, I'll definitely answer this particular question detailly. If I talk about any technology or trend, why it is very good to learn or which job profiles you should start looking for initially. And trust me, guys, if in the college time you have the specific knowledge, you will be able to plan your future very much properly, you know, and based on that, you'll be able to work. Uh, I'll tell you one incident, uh, in iNeuron, we hired a third year engineering student who's a full stack developer and he's doing pretty amazing job. And recently has completed his engineering and we gave him a full time opportunity. But understand he was earning uh, from his third year itself. Now this, this probably is a dream of every student. If I was a student and uh, if I had some specific idea that this is my specific interest, then I will be probably able to earn from second year or third year also, if I'm pretty much good at that, right? So I'll start my preparation pretty much earlier itself. So it will be definitely helpful for so many students. And remember guys, financial independence is required uh, for everyone, right? And if a student gets that financial independence, he will be able to do many things in his life when he's actually studying uh, probably in his college days. Because if you do engineering, probably four years it will take guys. And if over there you're just learning, if you get an opportunity to earn, it is well and good. So suppose if I go back probably to my college, just imagine I'm going back, time travel, <laughs> time travel. I want to do time travel right now in this instance, suppose. Okay. So in 2021, I'm going back to my second year of engineering. Now I probably have this much trending knowledge that are coming up with me, right? With respect to technologies, which all thing. Now with respect to job profiles, let me talk about it. Obviously data science is there. Data science is the trendy thing. And if I have four years of time in my college, I will be preparing for multiple job profiles. And just imagine which all job profiles can actually give you some amazing salaries. Okay. Uh, this obviously needs to be considered. Then only probably you'll be able to earn more. You'll be able to get a lot of freelancing opportunities and all. And uh, obviously you should tr also try to consider the job profile based, based on the trends. Okay. So now, suppose if I go back, uh, just imagine that I'm in my second year, I've just learned one or two programming language, I'll start working on three main important things. One is obviously data science. Second one is, I will also try to have a look on the full stack development because understand, full stack development has more number of job opportunities when compared to data science or machine learning. So I'll keep this all options, I'm telling you. The first option is basically data science. The second option is basically my full stack uh, development. In full stack development, you basically have to work in the front end, in the back end, and probably with multiple databases. Now, when I was doing my engineering probably in 2011, 2010, at that time, only the interest of programming language, which many people used to select was Java and .NET. And they were using Java and .NET along with some front end technologies to create the front end and the back end uh, part. But this time, I will focus more on JavaScript, okay? Full stack development using JavaScript, okay? So front end probably I'll be learning HTML, CSS, I'll be learning Angular JS, I'll be learning uh, different, different React JS. And apart from that, I'll also try to combine the knowledge of Node JS, you know, to probably communicate with the databases like MongoDB and all, right? And MongoDB is a NoSQL database or any SQL databases. So I'll try to learn this technology is pretty much good because if I learn this technology, guys, I am pretty much good at it. I will definitely be getting a lot of freelancing opportunities in my college itself. I gave you one perfect example, right? We had a person who was in third year and uh, he was doing all this kind of works. He, 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 he was working in both front end and the back end technologies. We can also call this technology as Mernstack, you know, so Mernstack is also pretty much good. You know, and if you don't know, guys, uh, the Mernstack people also are having good amount of salaries. Now, if I just consider full stack development also, very amazing salaries people have, you know, very, very amazing salaries. If, if I, I just have one of my juniors, just four years experience and he, he just got hired in Walmart. Trust me, guys, he has an amazing salary. Like when I was four years of experience, that was salary I did not have. OK, so that is the reason why I'm telling you. Uh, and he was a full stack developer and he, he was getting 
pretty amazing salary you get now as i said the first option full stack development sorry i'll, I'll say first option is data science second option is full stack development okay now coming to the third option just imagine what are all the other options that we can actually go okay third option definitely as a college student okay i really need to get a job in product based company suppose that is also my aim because in product based companies like amazon google i'll try to i'll try to go in that specific companies if i go back to my college days now okay i'll definitely try it out okay and for that i will definitely be learning data structures and computer programming now guys if you straw if you if you build a strong building okay and always remember that building will last for a longer period of time if its base is very very strong if its base is very very strong then it becomes an amazing building if you try to build it similarly if you really want to build your career in programmings okay and probably you would really want to become a programmer and do all this kind of things let it be full stack development data scientist everything for this the base that you require is competitive programming and data structures data structures and competitive programming will be required everywhere will be required every everywhere i'm telling you guys because i'll tell you why it will help you to do that logic building in data science also probably i want to play with some kind of data structures i have to write some kind of efficient code you know and for that this kind of competitive programming which i will be practicing in my college will definitely be helpful so competitive programming data structures is must at one point of time if you are interested to uh, basically apply in uh, companies like amazon probably google and all what you have to do prepare for this because the first round will be this thing only in competitive programming you know then they'll probably ask in the second round whatever things you are ex an expert in they'll also try to understand that how did you solve that particular problem so this is the third thing that i will focus on guys three things that i will try to focus i focused on one trending technology i focused on full stack development so that it will actually help me to get freelancing work and it can also help you to get uh, some full time opportunities if you are pretty much good at full stack development okay full stack basically means front end back end preparing uh, communicating with the database and third thing to make this too strong i have a base of data structures and competitive programming this is it now i'll start participating in competition i'll start looking for freelancing work i'll start uh, participating in hackathon i'll start thinking of uh, creating some amazing uh, web applications uh, solving some common problems okay now if you are a full stack development okay if you are into full stack development because you have four years guys you know full stack development also suppose one additional thing that you should probably add that is your mobile app development now you may be thinking krish what is this you are just saying on keep on technology saying on technologies and all guys i am not saying that i just moved back to final year of my engineering i am saying i moved back to my second year of engineering or first year of engineering i have 3 to 4 years of time every sem if i try to focus on one thing at a time i will definitely be able to do it instead of learning those crappy subjects that we have in engineering right that is also important <laughs> to get marks to get your degree that is required degree is required in indian in india if you really want to get jobs somewhere the first thing the company will be looking at degree but understand along with this you will be able to do this also don't tell me that you will not get time krish you are just telling multiple technology no understand this very important thing now why mobile development is required nowadays you create any if you are becoming a full stack developer okay probably you are working in web application probably you are working in mobile app it is one and the same right so you really need to have an experience of both and if you are able to add this additional skill of probably developing a mobile application it will be very much amazing you have lot of application a lot of programming language like flutter framework you have which actually helps you to create some amazing apps both in ios and android technology is going up my guys you really need to learn these things so this many things are there and you will be able to learn so college guys please take your career seriously i know some people will be saying sir they don't teach us in the college anymore in an amazing way but i have given you this particular pipeline go into this one of the next things as a mobile developer also you'll be able to get amazing jobs not only here outside foreign countries lot of freelancing work right full stack development machine learning data science data science probably i think everybody needs to learn why because companies are generating huge amount of data and if you have that data handling skills 
data analyzing skills model creation skills it is very good for a company the company will look for that additional skill set and to make your base stronger you have data structures and algorithm that is it that you require guys trust me till you come out of your college you'll be having so many opportunities when i was in my college i only had one opportunity i had to select that you know and unluckily because of what uh, because of that what happened i had to waste some of my 6 to 7 min- uh, months of time because i was put into bench i uh, i i did not get good projects okay and again not blaming the company guys it happens right so if i have multiple opportunities then definitely i'll be able to think which one should i take you know and i'll take those opportunities which will help me to grow this is a very important video for every one of you guys please make sure that you know you follow this as a college student this will be very very much important okay i'll see you all in the next video have a great day ahead thank you one doll bye bye